vertical columns on the periodic table. What about the horizontal rows? So these are called periods. There are seven rows that go across the periodic table. So this is period one. It just has hydrogen and helium. Period two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you might say, hey, what about these guys? Well, they didn't want the periodic table to be super long. So they took these out and put them at the bottom. But you can see it goes um, 50, 37, 38. And then it skips. I can't see my numbers on here. To um, to the next level, right? Let me see if I can move this box here so I can see the numbers. Okay, here we go. So it goes 55, 56, 57, 72. So what happens? Well, this entire row right here goes there. So these are also part of period six, and these are part of period seven. Okay, and their names, the lanthanides, um, the rare earth elements, and the actinides, the transuranium elements. A lot of them were made from uranium, bombarding it with another nuclei, because they're man-made. Um, everything in the actinides, in fact, right here is radioactive, which we talk about a little bit later on. Okay? Um, so here's what the periodic table would look like if you actually inserted those two rows from the bottom into where they should be. So it would take up a lot of space in classrooms across the world um, to have periodic table charts like that. So it's a lot handier to um, cut them out and put them on the bottom. Okay, so there it is. We've talked about all the different parts um, besides these groups right here, which are kind of a mishmash of metals and nonmetals and metalloids. Okay, last thing, states of matter. Most elements at room temperature are solids. Okay, on our periodic table in the room, everything that's written in black letters is a solid. Okay, um, there's a few that are liquids at room temperature. Bromine and mercury are always mentioned. And then gallium's right on the border of being a solid and a liquid. If it's in the palm of your hand, it's a liquid. And the elements that are gases are all of the noble gases and in addition to those, these elements as well. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, and hydrogen. And those are red in the, in, um, the chart in our classroom. And then the liquids are blue um, on our chart in the classroom. So that's about it for the intro to the periodic table.